I'm Maddie Lee, joined by Joe Masato. After the Thunder's 112 to 107 win at Houston, honestly, one of the most unexpected wins of the season, namely because the Thunder started the game without Nerlens Noel, uh, who had left ankle soreness, Terrence Ferguson, who was out with personal reasons. And then some other rotational players. Abdul Nader still is dealing with that ankle. Um, and then within the first two minutes of the game, Steven Adams goes out. So suddenly the Thunder doesn't have its starting or its backup center. And uh, started a two-way player in place of Terrence Ferguson. Yeah, I mean, Lou Dort drew the start. Um, and drew the assignment on James Harden tonight. And it was, you know, it was kind of surprising because we first thought that Hamadou Diallo would probably get that job, but instead it was Lou Dort and he was fantastic. I mean, you know, Dort is obviously known more, known more for his defense. It wasn't the offense tonight, but James Harden shot 9 of 29 from the floor, uh, 1 of 17 from 3. And the biggest play of the, of the night, really, Lou Dort, Works his way around a Clint Capella screen. He draws a charge against Harden. Um, the Rockets were up by one at that point, and then the Thunder outscored them the rest of the way. That was just under two minutes left. So really, a game changing play. Yeah, you had, and then on offense, you had guys like Dennis Schroeder and Daniel Gallinari really leading the charge. They both scored. I think Daniel Gallinari had twelve points in the fourth, and Dennis Schroeder had fifteen in the fourth. So big offensive push from them. Lou Dortz with the consistent defense over mm -hmm. the course of the game. And we've seen him draw some of those really tough assignments due to injuries. And tonight was probably the toughest of them all. James Harden clearly frustrated with his performance, stayed late after the game shooting on the court to work out some of those kinks because it was a rough shooting night for him. Yeah, and it, it just changed the game completely because you, you're taking the best score in the NBA, averaging better than 37 points per game, and you, you're visibly frustrating him with a guy that he probably thought he could cook. Like He's, <laughs> yeah. a, he's a rookie two-way player. James Harden probably loved this matchup and then does not love it now. Um, but as far as the Rockets, like I, I was well on my way to riding a Russell Westbrook records mm -hmm. a triple-double uh, against his former team and the 30th team he's now done it against uh, every team in the NBA and the Thunder as they've done all season came back outscored the Rockets 41 to 20 in the fourth quarter and totally changed the game yeah well on the Westbrook note LeBron James beat him to recording a triple double against all 30 teams he did that a couple months ago and the Thunder was the last team to fall <laughs> uh, at that time too obviously with how long Russell played for the Thunder. He had 11 years where he couldn't <laughs> record a triple-double against his own team. So in the third meeting against that team tonight, he finally gets it, achieves second player to achieve that really historic mark. Yeah, I mean, this game had it all. It had that, it had the comeback. It had Chris Paul, the other player involved in that trade, scoring a career-high 27 points in the first half, only to score one point in the second half. It is Schroeder, Gallinari, and Gilgis Alexander carried the Thunder in the fourth quarter. So um, just another entertaining Thunder basketball game. Certainly. There have not been a shortage of <laughs> them. Right. Uh, so the Thunder next. Wednesday night in uh, Orlando. Continuing this little road trip here, uh, and we will see you then.